First question, we'll start with you, Gigsy. Uh, how did you join the club? Uh, just uh, friends of my dad, Angie Mandola. He was uh, doing the barbecue for him in the committee, and uh, he got in my ear, and yeah, Murray Boffer had a chat. And then, yeah, the club was excellent. So, 99, first year in the uh, State League. Nice, and what about yourself, Will? Um, I joined the club because of my dad. He, he played for Metro Stars. Who's His name's dad? Scott Tunbridge. Um, uh, yeah, and I've always liked soccer, and then he thought, why don't you send me to Metro, so I came to Metro. Nice. Um, I joined the club in 2013 from Mobbury Jets. Um, I got approached by the then captain, Lee Robertson, and I oh, yeah. uh, couldn't say no to him, really. No, I, think I, I, played against, I think I played against you as well. Yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, no, we were... Uh, we got relegated that year at Mobbury and Metro won the league, so it wasn't a very tough decision. Mm. Next question. Oh, Anthony, best player you have played with? Played with? Oh, I've played with some really good players. Um, probably can't go past Lee Robertson again. He's an absolute legend at this club. Um, Six-time club champion and just a uh, Unreal defender, really. It certainly is. <laughs> How about you, Will? Um, probably um, Campbell, Campbell Matner. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. And um, mine was uh, Milan Ivanovic. Is uh, yeah, this one pretty inspiring. And that is that one. Yeah, that Your turn, Will. Best player you have played against. Um, played against, God, although he wasn't in his prime at the time, I would have to say I've marked Damian Murray a few times when he was at Adelaide City. Um, I think everyone knows his reputation as a striker and yeah, he's probably one of the best players I've played against. I've played against some other unreal players, Ivan Karlovic, um, just to name another one and yeah. Mm, um, mum was uh, Stan Lazarizas. He uh, played at West Adelaide in 93 before he went to West Ham. And uh, I got to take it around him, which I thought that was brilliant. Uh, and then, uh, and maybe Aurelio Vidmar as well. Yeah. yeah. He was at the end of his career, but still, that was uh, pretty impressive to go against him. Mine was probably um, 
Levi Caviala, he was um, like, he still plays for Metro. Uh, he's actually in my team now, but last year I played him and yeah, he was unreal, mm. probably. Uh, what is or was your nickname at the club? Um, I only really go by one nickname and that's probably Tony, which isn't really a nickname, I suppose. Um, yeah, no one's come up with anything creative for me yet, so <laughs> I'll go with that. Yeah. You got one? Um, well, usually we're, uh, Will a lot of the time, but l last year the, photo, the, the, photographer, the photographer for our photo just called me Snowy, which is... Snowy. Snowy. <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, mine's uh, Giggsy, because um, of Ryan Giggs, obviously, and my new supporter. Not the hairy chest, thankfully. <laughs> uh, uh, all the various other traits of his. <laughs> Favourite volunteer at the club? You can start, Giggsy. Um, oh, well, it's got to be uh, Robbie, I think. He's uh, Robbie Rendy. He's been there since I was there in 99. Uh, and yeah, still there, president now. So, definitely Rob, I think. Um, Favourite volunteer is such a hard question. Um, I have several, I love several different volunteers for different traits. On a Thursday night I love talking to Nick DiLorenzo when he's serving us our pasta. Mm. Um, I think, uh, like you said, Rob Rendy, he's almost like a second father to me, inside soccer and outside as well. Um, and the numerous others, George, who uh, does everything for us, fills yeah. up the water bottles, and, um, puts the kits on George the hook. There as well. yeah. um, always there, provides us with super dupers in the hot weather. <laughs> so you can't go past Georgie either. So yeah, that's just a few anyway. Yeah. You got any that you know? Mm, no, no. <laughs> Is your dad volunteer at the club? Yeah, well, he was my coach, but yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, you can say it. Yeah, dad. Yeah, dad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, funniest teammate and why? Uh, currently, funniest teammate, oh, I'd have to go with Dylan Smith, just because he just doesn't stop. He's got puns at training that make absolutely no sense, but everyone's sort of <laughs> laughing with him and at him at the same time, so. He always puts a smile on people's faces, so I'll go with Dylan. I bet you shall. Probably my best friend, Mitchell, Mitchell Webb. He, he just makes me laugh every, uh, every day. If we can get a time to chat, we always think of something funny, no matter, no matter if it's soccer or something else. Good. Mm. It's good to have a friend like that. Yeah. Um, mine at Metro was uh, Dino Sordillo. He was only there for a couple of years, but yeah, he's a funny little character. Um, but off another club, Ryan Mitchell. I don't know if you know Mitch at all, but no. he's uh, one sick, sick man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Will. Best goal you have ever seen in real life? Best goal I have ever seen in real life? Um, I would go with my current teammate, Fabian Barbiero. I was in the crowd at Highmarsh when he scored a cracker. I think it was in a semi-final. Would love to change the ledger. Barbiero! What a screamer! Fabian Barbiero, one out of the box. I don't know about you, but I can't think of a better way to change that ledger. Um, but yeah, unreal goal. Mm. Just doesn't score him often enough. Um, mine was... Uh... Uh, what's his name? Uh, Owen for United when they beat uh, Man City 4-3 in the 97th minute in 2009. Oh, yes, yes. Michael, yes. yeah. It was a cracker. Were you there? Uh, Giggs, yeah, put it down on the wing, pinged it into the park corner, and he ran to where we were sitting in the stand. It was, oh, it was insane. Unreal. Yeah, I was texting Barney, my mate, and uh, he was <laughs> telling me that, you know. Mm. <laughs> um. Probably, I haven't really watched the Premier League, to be fair, and yep. some other sports, so probably Song's goal, uh, like where he dribbled the whole, whole everyone, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, cool. and then just tucked into like yeah. left corner. It wasn't a belt into the goal, no, but no. the yeah. way he like ran it uh, across the whole pitch, and then... Yeah, that was amazing, yeah. 
These are just lining up perfectly. Best goal you have scored? Probably a goal like, I remember I was running down the line and then um, I passed it to my teammate. Uh, he ran through, I ran uh, back into the box and he passed it to me and I shot into the uh, net. No, that was probably one of my best goals. Yeah. Um, uh, I think I've had a couple. One for Metro I was in the first year against Enfield, who were the top two teams. Uh, I think we worked it across the pitch a couple of times, and Paul Simmons, uh, the captain, he slipped me through on the left, and I blasted it. Just, just really worked goal and, uh, against the run of play, and um, yeah, it was nuts. It was just over there when we played over in the other pitch. Oh, that yeah. was um, that was good actually. Yeah. Um, I don't score many, but um, one comes to mind was against Adelaide Comets at Santos. Not the best pitch to play on. Um, keepers cleared it. Um, it's come straight to me. I've hit it on the volley instep, uh, lobbed the keeper, and one bounce and hit the back of the net. So I say it's from halfway, probably about <laughs> 10 yards in, but uh, I'll take it. What does the club mean to you? The club means everything to me, really. Um, I've been with the club now for nine years um, and they're like a second family. Every time I come here I feel welcome. Um, yeah, it's pretty well just like a second family. I um, treat the volunteers, my coach, my president like my family and um, yeah, just have ultimate respect for everything that the club stands for and um, all the volunteers and people involved in it. Mm. Yeah, totally agree. Um, it was the first, first year they came in Sam, Tony, Rob, the whole lot, amazing. In included all your family, such a good place, yeah. Um, it's, you know, uh, it's just always welcoming. And the, the level of, uh, you know, professionalism now is really nice, really good, yeah. I'm very impressed. Um, means a lot to me, it feels like a family, uh, like all my teammates and uh, even, even people from uh, other teams uh, give me good support, coaches, um, and yeah, and I highly respect them uh, back, and I, yeah. Mm. Mm. Two to go. <sighs> Best coach you have worked with? Oh, God. <laughs> Um, well, I'd probably say Barney Smith, even though he uh, said some awful things uh, to me when I was playing for him. But uh, he uh, technically, I was, yeah, I was older when he uh, had me. I was 37. Did you were at Comets? Or? Yeah, 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 Comets. Yeah, we played together at, at Metro. Yeah. But um, yeah, his uh, level of knowledge and communication was really good. So yeah, he'd be probably my favourite coach to be under. Yeah. Will, tread carefully. <laughs> um, I've only ever had two, to be fair, so probably my dad. Uh, I, know, I know he uh, would probably be saying, pick me, pick me. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, I've, um, yeah, he's, he's probably the best coach. Your dad's full of knowledge, so you learn a lot off of him, put it yeah. that way. Um, I've had a few coaches over my time. I've learned a lot off of all of them. Um, but one stands out, and that would have to be Ivan Karlovic. Um, his, the respect and the, um, that he got out of all the players, um, the success we had over the two years I had him. Um, it was very mem memorable two years, and um, yeah, just learned a lot off of him. We played similar positions as well on the pitch, so that always helps. Um, but yeah, I've, as I said, learned a lot off of a lot of different people over no, my time. Ivan's good, I've played with Ivan as well. Yeah. Nah, he's good. Lucky last. What was your favourite moment? Uh, what was your favourite moment you have had playing for the club? Oh, uh, probably one uh, one time when we were. I think probably we went to High Marsh one time and we were playing just at half time as as our team. It was quite a little while uh, back now. And I remember my teammate Lewis uh, scored a goal, and uh, we and it was like the goal that we needed to to win the game. So we were all running uh, at him, and 
Yeah, giving him a big sort of fun. <laughs> was that in between an Adelaide United game or? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, it was just uh, special to us, especially for that big moment as well. Yeah. Mm. Oh, nice. Uh, my favourite moment playing for Metro would have to be probably a run of three games, um, the MPL final series back in 2014. Um, we'd just come off of losing the grand final to Croydon, um, but we, the next week we're off to Perth, mm. um, went over there as underdogs, we beat Bayswater, um, moved on to Melbourne where we beat South Melbourne, and your dad actually scored the winning goal there. Um, and then we played the final in New South Wales against Bonnie Rig uh, the week after, and yeah, we become MPL champions, so mm. first SA side to do it. So. Yeah, that's pretty great. That was probably, yeah, you can't beat that for us anyway. Mm. Um, mine's probably uh, the first year in 99 when we high marsh in the semi-final to get into the final, but whoever won it got into promotion, so yeah, I think uh, I scored it and it made it 3-1 and a couple of guys jumped on me saying we're going to the Premier League, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, that was good. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Will. Will, thank you. Thank you.